Basically, you've been holding your tongue and trying to wait for the perfect time, or you've been trying to speak truth and justice to a situation that is just wrong. <laughs> okay, like you gotta look at the long view here because. I'm getting this overwhelming feeling that you don't know that could just be you're fighting really hard for somebody who's already has a one foot out the door okay now let's just put it like that What's up, Vanessa Moon here. I'm so glad you guys made it back to my channel. If you're returning and if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button so that the channel can grow. You guys have been doing a good job at that, so I'm putting out more videos more often. Other than that, watch every sign so you can get every angle of your story, okay? It's never just in your sun sign reading, and if it resonates, keep watching, okay? So let's begin. We're gonna do a quick Celtic cross, okay? So let's see, um, what is coming in for y'all, okay? What's coming in for y'all? um recent past okay so well, this is gonna be this card is gonna be like what is the situation that led to this point okay let's see recent past oh wow three cards came up i'll take them all right so we have the two of wands a plan leo that you've had that you've been persevering through okay a decision waiting for the perfect time to act Okay, look into a new direction with the strength card. You've been persevering into somebody very, very loyal, but you might be looking into a new direction because it just turns out this person might be a little bit too cold, too non-communicative and too calculated for you, or that just could be a hard ass. Or you've had to be a hard ass. Yeah, it's like you're trying to get communication out of someone here or something here. Maybe you're waiting for a decision from like a from like a judge or from like a a parent of your child or something like that but it's just like working with this person right here you have to be extra intuitive and extra patient extra kind maybe you're waiting for some type of mediation or you're doing couples therapy here yeah it's like you're just trying to make a fair and just decision before you communicate your next move here um but you're getting good news it says you're getting the truth coming in about some wish you had okay so you're getting your hope is your hope is paying off so you're just persevering while through these talks through these like serious talks okay that's what i'm getting here maybe like some you could just be waiting on it um, um a decision from a job all right so what's going on with my leos where are they at right now what's going on with them right now could be involving another leo or gemini Le libra aquarius okay you're yeah you feel like you're just ready for this cycle to end you've just been carrying the weight of this for some time uh leo and it's like it's, you're starting to feel like it's just too much it's just too much like you're doing everything on your by yourself there's a lot of people involved you're doing everything for everyone all the responsibilities are um hanging on you and you maybe you could be moving you could be waiting for a decision about you know where you're going next you could be moving and you just you just you're just carrying all the weight um it's saying here nine of swords so you've been just you've been you've been having struggling to get out of your head about a situation here maybe it could involve a gemini um or a virgo you could feel like you've just been a lot of reflection and there's something you really 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 want here in a relationship okay um in a choice um but it's just so slow and you're just made to like just kind of keep to yourself or somebody could have ghosted you that you really like and you're trying to figure out how to stand your ground on a situation or you've been doing that against your family or what they think so maybe you're not going to what you really want because the people around you are the relate you're already in a relationship and um you're just feeling like you know what i gotta stand in my power and do something unexpected because there's somebody out there who i want to em share emotions with here who's very kind and compassionate who lives rent free in my head and i feel trapped from this thing i feel trapped from taking action because i'm still waiting is for waiting for something to end or someone to move or something to move forward here okay got you got you leah got you all right um, you could feel like if you just speak the spirit is telling you you've been holding your tongue and trying to wait for the perfect time or you've been trying to speak truth and justice to a situation that is just wrong. <laughs> okay, like you got to look at the long view here because I'm getting this overwhelming feeling that you don't know that. All right, this is going to be for a very select few of you. There's a lot of lust in these cards here. And what you don't know is whatever you're holding out for, this lusty energy, it's lusting after something you could never be. So what you're holding up trying to take care of the responsibility and the wait for, it, it could be, for example, if you're a man dating a woman and you're waiting for her to get her, you know, stuff together and 
um, make a decision about where y'all stand. What you need to know is she really goes both ways. To a wands means you go both ways. Like she could really be into into females. And that's why she gives you such a hard time, Leo. That's why you're faced with this masculine energy from this woman. Because she really is the masculine in her own relationship if she was in a correct relationship. Just saying, okay? And I'm here to tell you the truth of what I see. So what I'm seeing is it doesn't have to be that dramatic. It could just be you're fighting really hard for somebody who's already has a one foot out the door, okay? Now let's just put it like that. All right, so what's crossing Leo at this time with the Ten of Wands? What's, what's cross, crossing the burdens? Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's somebody here that's, you're trying to be like really, you could feel like, you, you could feel like you're trying to be compassionate here with somebody that's just cold. You're trying to be caregiver, this Cancer energy to this Gemini energy that can't make up their minds. Okay. Okay, it could be a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, that just needs to figure out where they're going or what they're doing. Okay. But you're trying to be compassionate because somebody has a lot going on. They could be pregnant. Um, they could be carrying a lot of weight of themselves as well. So you're trying to help out. Um, why is this all happening to Leo? Why is this happening to Leo right now? Because of the world card. Because it's time. Because the cycle has ended. It's over. Because something is you. Something is at a distance from you. Something is completed. It's a happy ending though. But it's time to say sayonara. You've seen things from every angle now. You've. You've had a full circle moment with what this is, and it's time to move on. Um, or it's time to make a move. That could be just moving. It could be like you and your partner are frustrated, and you're trying to help this person, but you guys are just waiting to move all your stuff, okay, um, to go to a new place. It could just be that simple. Um, Ace of Wands, Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. So this new opportunity, you don't really want it as bad as you thought you did because now that it's been taking so darn long, like you've been working like the devil, um, it's kind of painful. You're realizing, you know what, this kind of situation that I'm with this person or this thing is, I don't really like it. It, it triggers me. I want to manifest. I'm only manifesting from a place of not trusting and really hiding my true feelings. And if I were to expose my true feelings and feel like a winner, I don't feel like a winner here. I feel like I'm compromising constantly. And I've learned a spiritual lesson here that I need to be more abrupt and more truthful with my decisions. And maybe I just need to say what the fuck is on my mind and put this to rest. Dang. Just saying, Leo. So now you're learning. That's why the world card is here. It's saying you're learning a lesson. You're learning a lesson. This is to teach you a lesson about when cycles need to end and when they need to begin again, begin somewhere else. This when, when something is over. This is teaching you also a lesson like about how to stand your ground or how to tame yourself when it's time to mm, speak abruptly. When it's time, like something about speaking your truth with the King of Swords. Not being, not straddling the fence to have wands. Because somebody is playing you for a fool. This Queen of Cups energy is playing somebody with Leo in their chart highly aspected. Okay, it doesn't have to be a Leo reading at all because the signs showing up here are, well, Leo, you are showing up, but also Cancer and Gemini. And you have the World card, so Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, okay? So it's saying, like, right now, all those people, those signs in their chart need to understand that, like, you don't got to hold out for anybody. You should learn this. You're learning a lesson now about speaking up, speaking your truth. In real time because somebody's playing you for the fool they know that they, they they're playing you're playing on your compassion right here on your good nature what's on your mind leo what's on your line i mean oh two cards oh somebody's fantasizing about the warmth the sun of what it would really be like to give and receive their happiness at this moment somebody's thinking about a new beginning here where everything is balanced fair and they have money and they have joy and they have fun and they can go out and do the things they want to do somebody feels trapped Somebody's also thinking about maybe a baby here because you have the sun card and, you know, what it's going to be like one day when you have a baby or have happy times with someone. Um, or you're just thinking about this lump sum of money that you just got and how everything is good and your bills are paid and you're stable. But somebody could be giving you more. You're seeing that somebody could be giving you more. You could be getting more out of life, though. Four of Wands. So there's a reason to celebrate here. So maybe you finally got something that you wanted that you put work into. It finally gave back to you. And you're seeing everything for what it is now. Um, something is stable. Um, with this, you would be happy in your mind if something was stable. If something, if you could go to a new level. If you could get something permanent here that you never, you could just put, put into for the rest of your life. And it just grow abundantly. And you could just rest. Um, 
and or if you can have a truth with truce with somebody who's constantly in and out of your life or constantly starting fights with you if they would just tell you the truth about how they really feel or whatever conflicts them on the inside or or you're gonna find out here that somebody's been talking to a whole bunch of other people about you um telling all your business and your, what should be good news for you is going to just be or when you go to tell other people your good news they're just going to be looking at you sideways because it's not going to come out the right way mm, you're going to have to have a, a conversation with somebody here about their thoughts and intentions when it comes to you because they lie on you wow so you're finding out that somebody else is giving to something else here it comes to light in your mind it shocks you or it's illuminated to you that someone you were giving to is giving to something else and you're like that's why I'm getting this fantasy energy of like, what would be, what would it be like? What, what is even even like to even be in something normal with this person? Or, mm, it's gonna come to light, Leo, that somebody else is, or it has just come to light that somebody is not balanced like they should be, or a situation is not as balanced as it should be, or as happy as it should be. What's facing you is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so what's facing you is like maybe somebody trying to come towards you that's taken a very very long time to come towards you. Um, or something you've taken a long time to go towards is finally there's an opportunity to give to it So maybe that's why you're happy So maybe you're on your mind is I'm about to start giving to something else now since this because see this energy has this facing this way Leo when you're standing like firm and then Then you have this other energy facing this way and you're still in the middle here. So it's saying while you're giving to one thing you're happy to give to something else because it's bringing you a solid pinnacle. It's bringing you something solid and you're waiting for this for a long time. Could be a job, could be a friend, could be a relationship. How you're showing up as the Page of Swords. You're showing up as KG. You're showing up as kind of like still watching, researching, showing up as communicating in very spotty ways. You're showing up um, as somebody that's still trying to research or keeping it short and trying to figure out exactly what you want. You're showing up with, as someone with questions. Okay. So somebody could be coming towards you with an offer and you're like, mm, I don't know. You're watching that offer. You may, may or may not have responded. But this is something that you would like to because you can see it would make you happy. But you can't maybe respond to it. But you're thinking about it because you have your foot still in this whole other situation that's tying you down. You see? So there's something you always wanted coming towards you. But because somebody's playing you for the fool here, playing on your compassion and your good nature, you're staying cold and reflecting and holding back from something holding back your truth here when you know what you want because you're waiting on someone to make a decision whereas you instead you would like to be more balanced where you could give to your dreams or your goals here solid things in your life that will grow it is a blessing what is what is coming towards you it's taken a long time for you to get there but instead you're showing up as somebody cagey because you have to learn a lesson here or you're learning a valuable lesson or you're kind of stuck in something here that's rooted um, in the past okay Ooh, Leo, heavy reading. All right, Leo, what is coming? What is in your environment that you don't see right now? What is in your environment that you don't see right now? The Three of Swords. You don't see there's something painful coming towards you that's going to trigger you or break your heart. Damn. Damn. So it might be illuminated to you. Like I said, there's a committed relationship here that unexpectedly the past comes back. And there's an opportunity for stability here and success and long-term commitment with somebody very stable. But you're really going to have to take a break and think about this because this is a huge leap of faith. And it, But it is a truthful new beginning. So somebody comes back speaking the truth and it causes conflict, inner conflict here. Um, and you're keeping this to yourself because you want to trust your intuition. But it's, it's confusing right now. And you feel like if you start moving towards this in a calm way and away from a dark place, which is where you are, maybe are now, it will cause a betrayal. It will cause a betrayal, but it would also be happy because you would be feeling pure intentions here and you haven't been feeling that. So what I'm seeing is, Leo, if you indulge in this new opportunity, you may be breaking someone's heart. You may not be seeing that you are going to break someone's heart, but you see this journal here in this card. It's saying that this crow, that's that's something that's dead already. It's flying away. Um, whenever you see crows, that means you have a new beginning coming. Something is spilled out here. Like, whatever you wrote in your journal, you can't even write in this journal anymore because you have no quill. So it's saying, like, there's nothing left to write here. Whatever was there is gone. So whatever you're, whatever you're thinking of, whatever you're not speaking, it, it's going to break... 
Your heart is broken anyway. Whether you take this coin or whether you stay where you are not speaking, your heart is broken anyway. That's what I'm hearing because of your belief systems. Wherever you are now, whatever you're aligning with is not currently is not matching up with your beliefs of who you are, the lessons you've learned. What um whatever you're committed to, I should say. Whatever that may be, work or a person. In your emotions, you have the Page of Cups. So you're going to feel a little sorry, but you're also going to feel like you have a crush on somebody. You're going to... Oh, two cards came out for you. Yeah, it's going to give you anxiety that somebody's giving you an emotional new beginning here. So you have somebody new coming in. I'm seeing Leo's face with somebody from their past coming back or somebody new coming in that, that kind of puts a monkey wrench in their current commitment, whether it's work or a partnership. I'm seeing that... You're going to have a lot of anxiety around taking this emotional offer. You might even shed some tears because it's like tears of joy. You finally get to do some type of creative thing you've always wanted to do, but it's at the cost of something else. And you've reached a point of no return because you know you have to do it. So your outcome is the hangman. So you're going to feel like you're finally seeing something differently about something you've been chained and bound to for a long time. You've been chained and bound to a certain routine. Um, and you kind of maybe felt stuck there, but now you're going to see why you had to be stuck there because if you didn't stay stuck there, you wouldn't have been able to see it from all the angles and you wouldn't have been able to learn this lesson. So now we have this, we have a Leo that's looking at, um, freedom or independence here. Um, you're also, we have a Leo here that's looking at, um, a financial gain and maybe keeping it quiet to themselves that they have options and they might be able to move like a thief in the night to, or travel to to smoother wa waters with a connection here a soul tie that is much better suited for them whether it be a work contract or a love connection or a best friend whatever and it's going to be a secret at first maybe from a cancer or a pisces who's very quite ruthless and quite um cold okay that's that same source energy person and leo you're turning your back on this um even though this person is challenging challenging you to make a fair and just decision, you may just take action to end something so you can begin something new. It may be a betrayal, but really you're the one that's doing best for yourself because this was killing you. Okay? Um, and that is the truth with all those swords. So let's look at... Wow, Leo, that's loaded, baby, loaded. There could be a Pisces involved. I said that already, yeah. Um... There's a sacrifice that will be made, though, because there is enlightenment here about what keeps you balanced and you are going to have a happy ending with the world card. So that is what it, it is, what it is. Hey, um, and you're and it's building up your character and your strength here. So let's see here, Leo. Let's get let's get three cards. Let's get three cards to clarify this spread. One. You have a gift of money coming towards you guys. Charity. Somebody will help you Two. Three. So you have the chariot. So you're going to be victorious, victorious no matter what. With the chariot, um, could be a cancer of significance. And you have an ace of wands. Yeah. So Leo, this is what I'm seeing. One, two, six, seven. So once you make a decision to take this new beginning or take passionate action towards a creative, new, um, passionate new beginning. Okay. It could be a lot of um, sexual energy here. Um, two of wands that you go with the plan like this is what you always plan for yourself anyway you just get the impulse you decide to be impulsive um because it, it presents itself okay um you could feel like you get you're you're gonna get dressed up for this too you're gonna feel um i'm getting like somebody asks you out invites you out and they pick you up in a really nice car or you you get a something happens or you get you get to purchase a really nice car um or rent something or rent a suit some of you and you get to put your best foot forward and you get you if it's an interview you get the job like you get it whatever it is you get it and they love you for your talents and your skills i'm getting a fancy dinner like somebody might come you might get a random invitation to a fancy dinner and they're kind of trying to court you for your um for your talents and it's like finally it's here it's it's come this is my time okay and you got the chariot so the chariot means like you get the heavenly chariot it takes you up and over your obstacles. So instead of having to go step by step with something, you just go up and over, straight over the mountain and straight to the, the landing. So you could be traveling. Some of you could be getting um, a random invitation to for air travel, dinner, everything for a meeting uh, with a powerful conglomerate, and you get you get hired on the spot and you get a sign on bonus, the six of pentacles. The sun card is here. It's a huge blessing from the universe. It's a creative endeavor for a lot of you. Paid for your creation, your creations here. Um, I'm getting, I'm seeing somebody smoke a cigar and get dressed up. I'm seeing somebody sit with somebody who's really, really, really prestigious. 
And it's a victory. You're victorious. Okay? And it's a make or break moment, so you can't miss it. You can't, you can't pass this up. This is something that's happening for you. Don't even worry about it. So don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Whatever you worked hard towards, even if you're skeptical about it, even if it's going to hurt someone, a lot of you, it's your creative path. You just, you're getting to leave that mundane job or that mundane existence. And even if other, it hurts other people, you're getting to be a student. You're going to learn something new here. You're going to see everything from a different perspective because it's just, it's just, it's just, you're just incandescently happy. Okay. Also, you're getting to really be happy, take care of your children. A lot of you, you're going to get to put that, put away for that college fund or whatever. Finally. Right. So let's get three cards here or not three cards. <laughs> Let's get advice for my Leos. This could be your love life, this advice. So it's saying, accept that everything happens for a reason, Leo. And wait, the timing is not right. So good, that wait you did, it worked out because it made everything happen for a reason at the right time. I love that. I love that for my Leos. All right, so that was your quickie. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.